If you are holding cryptocurrencies, we have some very big news. Take a look. Robinhood faces an SEC investigation. We have Coinbase. They're going to be suspending BUSD trading March 13th. We have the cryptocurrency market seeing a pretty steep dive. Is the bull run canceled? What the heck is a bull run? Where are cryptos headed? There is so much confusion. What is going to happen? We were just very bullish and then the next minute we're crashing. What is going on? Well, in this video, I have the news for you, the truth and the information regarding cryptocurrencies and where they're likely headed to. Even if it is not the most popular thing to hear, even if it's not what you want to hear, I'm going to bring you the absolute truth as I've been attempting and trying to do so for a long time on this channel. And here it is. So before we get into anything, we need to look at the crypto charts and what we can see. We got to take a look at Bitcoin here. Bitcoin had a significant crash over the weekend. And that's because, as I've been mentioning in my previous videos, Bitcoin, although looked extremely bullish, we were at a major, major reversal zone and also a major resistance level. So it was very unlikely for Bitcoin to break the 25 and a half thousand to head up to 28,000, not because we're at resistance, but if we go over to the stock market, the S&P 500, we can see very clearly that the S&P 500 at that same time when cryptos were trying to pump and break out got rejected. And so if the S&P 500 is not continuing, it's uptrend. Cryptos are not, I guarantee it. 99.9 percent .9%, it could be 0.1 percent wrong are not going to break out and go crazy we're not going to be entering into a crazy bull market unless the s p 500 continues breaking out and is in an uptrend it's not happening it's correcting and right now we are at support and likely to continue heading down these based on the previous and current inflation data and news once we start getting better inflation data and news maybe next month maybe in the next couple of months very likely honestly that's when cryptos are going to start to recover again and people are going to have hope that inflation is coming down which means the fed can pause or pivot and stop raising rates aggressively which is killing the crypto market as we speak so that's what's going on bitcoin took a pretty big hit pretty pretty big correction and we are seeing a downtrend begins to start now look at this bitcoin is in a downtrend we are forming lower highs and we're continuing to form lower highs so the price is going down and that's why i'm shorting the market that's why i'm making thousands of dollars every single day shorting and playing the current volatility you can follow and copy all of my exact trades in the patreon where we're making insane profits every single week and i also have a trading indicator which tells you when to buy when to sell when to short when to long use it right now i highly recommend try for free at algosniper.com look at this just give you a pure example very quickly this is bitcoin we get sell signal buy signal sell symbol incredible signals for any cryptocurrency that you want to trade but let's get into the crux of the matter we have coinbase suspending busd on march 13th there's a lot of fud right now regarding binance and busd as we recently saw busd was basically shut down by new york regulators so coinbase is going to be suspending this stable coin we're not going to dive super deep into this but it's not really a big deal it's just these stable coin people they failed to register and they failed to comply with the regulations so that's why they were shut down and maybe if they get their stuff together they can get back online so very interesting we also have robin hood a lot of you use robin hood which i highly recommend you do not use robin hood because the fees are so high you have no idea even though it says no fees you're paying a much higher price guys don't use this platform it is terrible you don't have access to your crypto like you do using bybit a real platform but look at this robin hood they are facing an sec investigation over crypto business the sec hit robin hood with a subpoena in december regarding the company's crypto listings in custody of the assets the firm disclosed today so the sec is coming after everybody the sec especially because of this whole svf ftx thing is now really on the hunt for anyone that could potentially be like ftx or sam bakeman free so this is good so this is causing temporary flood but it's honestly there's no real impact on the market regarding this headline and i said in the beginning of this video are we in a bull market are we in a bear market i'm going to explain to you very clearly what a bull market is when we're going to be in a bull market and much more so continue to stick around you do not want to miss this part so i've been mentioning the past couple of months that the bull market has started and ever since i did cryptocurrencies took off you can watch my previous videos you can watch my twitter which gives extremely accurate signals and extremely accurate technical analysis but most important 
A bull run technically starts when the market reaches its lowest point. I think that there at the moment, uh, you know, in December, November, I thought it was quite possible that this was the actual lowest point that the cryptocurrency market will reach. But there is a possibility and it, it is surely a possibility that cryptocurrencies can actually break new lows over the next coming months because we are entering into a recession and the economy is not so hot. So it is a possibility. And we could certainly over the next couple of months see something like this come back into the range and blast off to new highs. That's certainly a possibility. Uh, so we could see lows of 12,000, 8,000, 10,000. It doesn't really matter. We will have to see if we break this level, if we start continuing this downtrend and it doesn't matter. Oh, the, the bull market's not in. Oh, we're gonna hit a bottom or we're gonna hit a top. It doesn't matter. We have to play things level to level, ladies and gentlemen. People that are calling out crazy, insane price predictions, it's completely irrelevant. It's completely irrelevant. What we need to see is we need to see levels. Okay, we break this level, we're gonna head to the next level. Okay, we break this level, we head to the next level. So we take it one step at a time to keep it realistic and honestly, just to keep emotions in check. So there is a possibility that we have reached the lowest point in the market and we are maybe, despite the news and fuck, crash down to something like this and then continue back going up. That is a possibility or we can break new lows, who knows? So the lowest point in the market when and it has been reached basically starts the bull market and there is a chance that we are in a bull market but we are going to be in a little choppy environment until inflation data can start to show itself coming down very fast once it does that ladies and gentlemen we will break 25 and a half thousand which will bring cryptocurrencies way up from our current levels of financial advice so make sure you guys are trading over on bybit where you can claim a thirty thousand dollar deposit bonus and trade for free use the algo sniper trading indicator join the patreon to be a part of the massive crypto trading community and much more if you got something out of this video consider giving this video a thumbs up subscribe with notifications on it. I will see you later.